Hello everyone. It's time for your daily dose of fiber. I'm going to be continuing with the knit along, the, um, the shawl. And hey Jen, this is the shawl that we'll be doing. Hi Timothy, how are you? Hope everybody's having a good, oh Julia, look who's here. Julia's here. Okay, so I've almost finished the spine and I'm going to start the ribs. Now this is for the, um, <laughs> good. that's always good. Oh, thank you. I'm good too. It's snowing today. Can you believe it? It is snowing. I am just unbelief. That's disbelief. So 75, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so I've got one more cable to do and then um, the reverse row, then I'll do the bind off and pick up the stitches. Now, this is not the yarn over um, row, um, spine. This is the one with the slipped stitches. And I'm going to get a, give everybody a chance to finish the yarn over sec version. And I will start that one on Monday. But um, this one is just the, um, the slipped stitch version. Like I said, I've got one more cable section to do. I really do like this one. Okay, so I've got to slip a stitch, knit two, then do a cable four back, insert the needle into the next two stitches, hold in back of the work, knit the next two stitches and then knit the two stitches from the cable needle. That's one and two and then the next stitch is a cable for front. Slip the next two stitches onto the cable needle, hold in front of the work Hello, Thriving Michael. I really do like that name, that screen name. That's, that's awesome. And then knit the next two stitches from the needle. Now I am done with the cables on that spine. And then knit the last three stitches. Oh, okay. And then slip, knit two, purl to the last three stitches. One, two. Oh, okay, thank you. Three, four. Five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some pretty, um, pretty interesting names on here. And then the last three stitches are knit. Now I'm going to bind off all except for the last stitch. And just Slip, slipping the first stitch because I like to do that. Keep it consistent. We just do a standard bind off because we don't want this to be too stretchy. If, uh, if you do a bind off that's stretchy, it'll, it'll make the cable look really weird. So you knit one, pass the previous stitch over. Knit one, pass the stitch over. That's all you do on a bind off. Very easy.
And M had asked me, why didn't I do a um, knit a couple of rows like I did when I started? Like, so here I've got knit two rows. And I replied that I honestly couldn't remember why I chose to do that. It was either going to mess up the stitch count for the, the, uh, the ribs or um, I, I honestly can't remember why I, uh, why I chose not to do that. But if you want to do an extra knit row to keep it more um, uh, symmetrical, you're more than welcome to do that. But just be aware that you need to change your um, stitch count to 52 because you need 52 stitches down the spine. So now I'm going to pick up stitches. See how I've heard of that. I don't know. I thought that was an extra um, app that you needed for that. I saw um, uh, Alex Khan did a broadcast on it yesterday, and I didn't know how he did it. So, okay, so see how these side stitches, oh sure, they form a little pocket down on the sides there. That's what you want to do. You want to pick up your stitch, you insert the needle into that little pocket there and pull up a loop. And just do that all the way down. And you should have 52 stitches. If I have too many, then I will, um, I'll do a decrease to make it to make it so that I have 52. So that's what we do here. All the way down. And when you're doing the um, the yarn over version, all you would do is slip your needle into the yarn overs and knit into them. But I will do that on Monday. I love doing cables. I love the way they look. Oh, you're welcome. I'll send you this pattern if you want. I think you'd like doing this one. Your eighth repeat. Okay. Okay. All right. Jen, are you doing the slip stitch version or are you doing the uh, yarn over version for the spine? Okay. Yeah, so you'll you'll be picking your stitches up this way. <laughs> this is surprisingly a, a quick one, Julia. Um, especially doing the um, the spine, it works up really quickly. Well, it did for me anyway. <laughs> so once you have finished picking up your stitches, just uh, count to make sure you have the correct number. And you're just doing this on one side and you'll finish the what I call the ribs. And then after the one side is done, you'll pick up the stitches on the other side. <laughs> oh, cool. I had considered doing one in, in green, but um, I, uh, I opted for this instead. Blue is my, I'm very partial to blues. Okay, let me see how many stitches I have here. Two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Okay, I've got 50 stitches, which means I don't have enough. So, so let me pick up one more here. No, that's okay. That's okay. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> yes, fudge time is exactly right. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm going to do. You know what? Okay, so that means on the, um, on the instructions, you are to knit two standard rows and then start your decrease um, on row five. So what I'm going to do is just knit the row five and start from there. See, 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 we can do this. We can do this. Make it up on the fly. This is not a problem. We can do this. Okay. And the wrong side row is the same throughout. Slip the first stitch if you want to. If not, just knit it. So that would be a knit two. The first stitch count, the slip stitch counts as a knit. Purl to the last two stitches and then you'll knit those. Okay. So this could have been a hashtag whoops, but it's working. Oh, thank you, Julia. I appreciate it. And I will uh, email you that, uh, this pattern. You're welcome. And thank you for stopping by. Okay curling to the last two stitches. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good. I have to tell you, this is much easier to do off camera. <laughs> it feels very awkward knitting in front of a camera because I'm watching the camera, not my hands. That took a lot of getting used to. I'm still getting used to it, actually. And just a, a mention, in the pattern, it calls for switching to size 9 needles for this. But yes, I do. I do feel dizzy. Um, instead of, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm using a size 8 because this yarn is just a little bit lighter weight than a, a regular worsted, I think. So I'm, I'm using an 8 instead. But it shouldn't make any difference. Okay, now is, I'll use, I'll start the first. And see how, see how pretty that looks on the edge there? That looks really nice. Okay, the first two stitches are knit, and I slip the first stitch. That counts as the first stitch, first knit stitch rather. So I knit two, uh, yarn over, slip two as if to knit two together, knit the next stitch, pass the two slip stitches over, yarn over, 
and knit two. And that counts as the repeat. Yarn over, do your decrease. When you do this decrease, you're um, decreasing by two stitches. That's why you do a yarn over before and after, if that makes sense. And then knit two stitches. Yarn over, double decrease, yarn over. Because the yarn over increases one, and so I've got knit two, I do the increase, two decreases, increase, then knit two, if that makes it easier to understand. Sometimes the yarn just doesn't want to go where I want it where I want it to go. And the last two, the first two and last two stitches are always going to be knit, unless otherwise stated in the pattern. Okay, now come to first. Yarn over. Let me see. Bear with me here, I have to check my pattern. The last four stitches are knit. Okay. I had to make sure I knew what I was doing. <laughs> because I didn't have as many on my needles as I was supposed to. Okay. So knit two, purl to the last two stitches. And you just follow the pattern. Decreasing one stitch at the end, every right side row. And I'll put a little bit more work into this over the weekend and see how far I get. Now my decreases were supposed to start on row five, which is the third right side row. But because I didn't have as many stitches, I'm going to do three um, right side rows before I start my next decrease.
and I'll make sure to do the same thing on the other side so I have to make note of that otherwise I'll forget yeah that's hashtag eep <laughs> I'm always making notes on my patterns. Otherwise, I will. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then the last two. Oops, that's not the last two. <laughs> now the last two stitches are knit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's what I'm doing, and I'll just continue on this over the weekend, and we'll see how far I get. So that's it for today's Daily Dose of Fiber. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Stay warm if it's cold where you are. Cool off if it's hot where you are, and just have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, everybody. And I will see you again Monday for another Daily Dose of Fiber. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>